one so I would like to share a small vlog with you guys um, I'm not sure if I'm lucky but Sunday today I was scrolling Facebook a bit and as usual I found the um, Audi S4 B5 model um, the gentleman is selling it a bit of a in the worst condition but for that money it's just you know you have to go and have to buy it it's a car for friend of ours so um, quickly jump in the car call one of our mates to give me a lift and uh, we're gonna go somewhere near Bristol to check it out so super excited can't wait because he was looking for a car since I knew him so we're gonna go and check it okay so I quickly have to come to the workshop because the gentleman just told me the tires are not the best and I don't really want to drive 150 miles with slick tires or stuff sticking out of them so luckily I've got a set from um, from my S4 so we're just gonna put it in the boot um, I'm gonna take probably some tools with me in case and uh, I'm gonna take the diagnostic to double check if the car's really all right and hopefully it will go all well Okay, so we finally got everything and we are leaving. Okay, so we have finally arrived. So that's about four hours to get into this place. Trust me, but it looks alright, you know. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. It's all your cars? Yeah, they're all mine. Really? Oh. Go ahead, what's going on with the Porsche? Tractor. Oh. I smashed that's the funny. dip to pieces in it. <laughs> oh. It came off, cast some goon. Yeah. Two months ago. So I put the diff out of it. Ah. I had about 400 messages. As soon as I put it up, everyone went fucking crazy. And I went, all right. Trust me, <laughs> trust me. I was literally lying on my sofa. Yeah, I yeah. opened up Facebook and the first thing what came up was basically, <laughs> was this car. Yeah, and I knew straight away because my mate, he's looking for one right. since, since I knew him, like two years. And now he was in the stage when he was like, I want to get a V8, I want to get a V8. And I was like, well, the V8 is nice, but that's even nicer. Yeah. It's getting classic. So for me, I bought an RS6. Where's the RS6? Uh, it's over at my house. Oh, uh, okay. And we've got a like, new, new one, we've got a C5. No, we've got C5, which I'm doing a manual swap on. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm doing a manual swap and hybrid turbos, S8 heads. So, um, what's it, a bigger valves than the S8 yeah, heads, you yeah, know, 13 yeah. mil. So hoping to make about 900 brake out of it on a manual box, got the clutch and conversion. And, and you, and you put in the box from the S4s or the No, R so I bought an A6 2.7T manual. But that have the same box as the same S4s. Same box yeah, as yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, um, yeah. I toyed with the idea of ripping this apart. And I thought, you know, I can't do it. I can't rip, I can't rip an S4 apart. Nah. I can't bring myself to do it. You know, nah. I can't rip an S4 apart. I can rip an A6 apart. I don't yeah, need, they're uh, ugly. They're, they're ugly. It's not yeah, yeah, about yeah, that. I can't rip an S4 apart. And then of course it left me with a problem. I was like, well, what the fuck do I do with it? And I thought, I could do it up, I'll do this, I'll do that to it. And then I thought, I've got that, I've got that, I've got the Porsche, I've got the Maserati, and I'm going, I've got so many fucking cars. Yeah, you've got a bit of a storage here, you know. But, oh dear, um, nice place. So this is it, I say, it's, I'm not going to lie, as I said, it needs love. Do Look, you know what I mean? That's what it needs. Basically, we do body work as well. Yeah, yeah. I saw that, so, yeah. so it's, it's not a big problem. You know, scuffs and marks, you're always going to get them on 10 year old car. Yeah. But you've got the mine thing, the shell, the V5, the engine, yeah. sort of running car, and it's just... The key is also, I just, one thing I forgot to mention, the key is broken. Oh, but like like broken, broken? No, no, it's fine, it's just the blade fell out. Oh, okay. And then All the right. pin that holds the blade in. Yeah. I don't know where it went. <laughs> okay, so let's try to start it up. Kind of neutral. Oh yeah. 
Sounds nice. So you have um, all the pulleys done. Um, was the thermostat changed at the same time as well? Or? It was, yes. Yeah? Oh, okay. yeah, there was a receipt in there. All right, all right. Um, That's cool. The only thing that used to happen occasionally yeah. is this. We offered when the ABS guy used to come on. Oh, all right. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Sometimes it would stay on for 10 minutes. It, it, might be, on, but... it might be ABS sensoring or. Yeah. I'm having the same problem with the TT because okay. the, the ring sometimes just lost signal. Then you get back on and it's just yeah, yeah. messing around. But yeah, to be completely honest, I mean, this is just mostly dirt yeah. from a mat. But the body works decent, you know. Even, even the front bumper is like not stone chip or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the, on the, um, oh yeah, on the bottom there's the fog light. Yeah. Yeah, this is the only dent. Yeah. That needs a new wind for. Proper ones. So this is it. Um, we bought the S4. It's it's not mint, yeah. But I didn't went down to you know buy a mint car. Obviously, there is a bit of a dirt. The cars really really needs like good cleaning. But mechanically, I mean, the guy told me he's got quite loads of new stuff, and. Um, you got a new timing belt with water pump. The rear calipers were changed. The engine is running mint. You're just gonna have to put a bit of a petrol in it and pump the driver's side front tire and hopefully it should be all good. Okay, so we have a bit of a problem. Um, we are on the nearest petrol station and apparently it's shut. So we've got one tire, which is not the best and it's quite low. The petrol, that is a bit of a dodgy because right now it's showing there's absolutely no petrol at all but at some point it will move above one quarter of the tank so i really hope we will at least get to the nearest petrol station with this um right now the abs light and the esp light come on so there might be a bit of an issue <laughs> with the sensor ring or whatever i will have to plug it in and have a have a look at that but for now, we are on the road and it's all right. So hopefully see you soon. Okay, so we've got a bit of a fuel. The, the guy's working now. The good thing is the cab holder is working. That's the main priority of the car. So we're just gonna go around the corner now, put some air in the tire and hopefully we will get home with this. Ah, this will probably take a while. Ah, it's going too slow. almost 11 o'clock so it's time to go home get some rest and um, tomorrow I'm gonna put it on the ramp and have a bit of a deep look what it actually needs doing contact the new owner tell him the news and um, we're gonna go from there 
Okay, so from, from underneath, the car looks pretty much all right. Um, the, the main thing is the turbos are not leaking. That's, that's really good. That's one of the big jobs what we don't really want to do. Um, got a bit of oil leak from the box. Fully standard exhaust. And um, the rear diff had a few marks from the oil leak. So we're probably going to sort out some new seals. But for the Fender Oil car, it's, it's really good. Looks solid. Okay everyone, so this is the end of the first episode. Um, the car is in, we check it on the ramp, what's wrong, what needs doing. We're probably going to order some parts. Um, the next step will be in part two. Uh, we're going to clean the car, we will strip the front wing, see the damage underneath and um, we will go from there. Lots of people ask me why did we decide to buy um, sort of spares or repairs as for reason why um, we have a limited budget and also probably you know um, they're getting classic so if you want to get it sort of in a running condition you're looking about four to five grand we bought this one for half of the price and I, I told George the new owner to rather buy a cheaper car and spend the money on it because you know what's done, what was done to the car and um, just get the progress going slowly. So thank you all for watching, um, hit the subscribe button and um, give us a like if you like the video and see you on really soon.